Hi everyone, here's just a quick video looking at the graphic descriptor tool, uh, for example, with GAA. Obviously here we're looking at football. Uh, the clicks that I'm going to do don't relate to the video, so don't judge me on my analysis here. So all that we've done inside our template is we've got categories and descriptors. So descriptors are the red dots, uh, categories are the other boxes that we have, and in the middle we've got the new graphic descriptor tool. Inside here I've made different zones with on the pitch with different descriptor names and for some of my buttons I've set specific click colors so if I click kick out and then click on my graphic descriptor it's going to mark it as blue team B kick out is going to be red but down here when we're looking at shots for example rather than um, using my category to set a click color I'm going to use a descriptor so if it's a point or a goal it's going to be green for our other options it's going to show as black okay we can have the same with turnovers for each team we see the different click color down here in the button settings so let's just take a look at this in action now so if we were registering let's go um, team a kick out to here okay and let's say that, that was one clean let's go team b kick out to here we could say that was one there again let's just put some other parts in so i'm clicking the category marking here and then furthermore i'm added some descriptor information You'll see as I'm doing this, uh, if I click in here, T4, so I mean the top box, the fourth square in, it's registering that information. So I've got T4, Team B, Break 1 as my descriptors. First half is always going in because this is automatically added descriptor. So now let's look at some shots. So for example, a shot from play, and let's say this was a point, and it's from here. Uh, another shot, this one is a goal, and you see these are coming up as green dots. If we now did um, another shot, let's say it was saved uh, from here, this is now black. So because I'm using goal, that's green. If I use anything else, I can set that to be black. Um, turnovers, for example, that marks as a color here. I can add extra information. Another turnover here, additional descriptors, um, and so on and so forth. So that's our registering environment there. When we move to our timeline, what we can now do is, is review our data with the graphic descriptors. So I've got my categories down here, and if I open up my graphic descriptor tool, let's move this window over here and resize this. If I want to look at where all the shots happened, if I click on this row, there's my heat map of things happening. So green is showing me uh, points and goals, uh, goals, black is otherwise. If I hover over, I can see the specifics about that. So I've got the time when it happened um, and the descriptors that are in there as well. I might go to kickouts, team A, team B. See, I've got my different colors that are in here as well. I could go even further now though. If I look at my matrix, what I could do, let's just resize this. I could say, let's look for um, more specifics. So if we go our kickouts, uh, that were one on the sideline. Once I've selected those, it now shows me in the graphic descriptor those specifics. So I can use my matrix to pinpoint exact clips that I need and want to see, and then I can see them on my graphic descriptor as well. So there's just an example of using the graphic descriptor uh, for GAA. Hopefully you enjoyed that.